Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this very quick video, we're going to have a look at how we disable audio when we have a track down on the timeline. So we're going to come down to this first clip. We have a video with an audio track. If we play it through, you can see my audio playing back over here in the audio meters. But essentially, we're going to make sure we've got the select tool selected from here, and we can then double click on our track. And then what we want to do is highlight the audio track with a range selection. And the quickest way to do that is just to hover over it and tap X. And that will, you can see, make a different selection of our audio track. And now if we press delete, it will disable that audio. So if I click away from my clip now, double click, then you can see my audio is disabled. It's completely muted across here, but it's not deleted. So if I with this clip selected, come back up to my inspector and come back to where it says stereo here for my audio configuration for this dialog. Then we can bring that audio back right away. So basically double clicking and then tapping X when we're hovering over the audio here, we'll give that range selection. We can press delete to disable that audio and then close up our clip again. You can see we can do the same on this second video here, we have that audio of waves. Sometimes you want to get rid of that background audio, but you don't necessarily know if you're going to mix it back in a little bit later. So this technique is nice for that. We can double click on that, tap X over our audio, press delete, and then double click to close it up. We have muted and disabled the audio tracks there without affecting the video. And also, Unlike detaching audio, we won't have that issue when we need to bring it back with getting the timing right or re-adding that clip to the timeline from our library. So if you have any questions about how to do this, then do leave a comment below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.